Welcome to another Best Best Fishing video. I had a new idea today, so I'm going to try it out for this video. Basically, I'm going to give fishing reports of the area, what I find good, where are the best days to go, and yeah. So let me know down in the comments um, if you want me to, you know, do keep doing this or want me to mention you. I want to mention that none of this is paid promotion, and I just am going what I found online in YouTube. I'm going to start out with talking about tides, weather this week, and then I'm going to go into our, our spots and then charters. Fishing this week is going to be great in the morning starting Wednesday with a strong incoming tide. And then it's going to go through Sunday slightly later, also strong incoming tide. The fishing gradually gets better through the weekend, so I'm looking forward to it. As far as weather goes, it's mostly going to be good Friday it may be. A little rainy and it may be a little windy my first spot i'm going to be talking about is crabbing when i went it was a little uh windy and uh rainy but it was okay make sure to watch the video if you haven't or if you're new to fishing the cordomandera creek's been doing well they caught a striped bass there since it's now fall fall colors have been working great for big bass at bon tempe and trout have been good there at the um mcnear's uh pond Jay-Z Fishing managed to catch a lot of uh, bluegill, a few crappie, and uh, um, uh, one or two bass. Shade JK managed to catch this big old bat ray this week, which is pretty impressive at the Paradise Cove. In Sausalito, I caught some bat ray and shark. If you haven't seen the video, I give instructions. Go check it out where you can see where I went. Casting with Cole and Miles here, where I managed to catch a few small cabazone while poke fishing near the mower road pier. Now let's move on to charters. Lovely Martha had an awesome opening day for Dungeness Crab catching limits. They also went out into near the Farallons and caught some nice rockfish, as you can see here. I believe they've also been doing on good on Link Pod, and yeah. Um, the Happy Hooker has also been doing good on Dungeness Crab. They were able to catch limits on both Dungeness Crab and Rockfish. I believe they're both going out to the Fairlands and just offshore near uh, Stinson Beach. Here's one more photo of the Happy Hooker where they managed to get a howl of it. Up north uh, in the Delta, the Sturgeon Sensei from Gatecrasher managed to be slaying the Sturgeon. Um, back to the Bay Area, the Oaken Anglers were still catching halibut even late in this year. We're going to go back to the Delta for the striped bass, where the Delta fish here, here was able to catch this awesome striped bass. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for weekly tips on uploading fishing videos and in instructional videos. And if you like this, I'm going to be more uploading videos like this, where I give fishing reports and the best days to fish. See you all the next time.